Here's a tip on using your hip to help get more shoulder turn to generate more serve power by turning your shoulders past your hips to create stretch across your trunk area. Hello, Greg Lucere for Online Tennis Instruction. Here's a follow-up video on a recent case study we did on chain and we talked specifically about the kinetic chain. Now we didn't get into too much detail about using your front hip to help you turn your shoulders more. But I want to cover that now, now in this video. Remember Shane had a, a lot of things to be thinking about, but this is certainly is the next step in that process. So what you want to do is we call this knee flexion. Our knees will bend, but if we turn our hip out just slightly over the baseline, it actually allows you to turn your shoulders a little bit more where we get our shoulders to turn past our hips. We create that trunk stretch. So if you watch it again, when, when, as I start to make this right to left movement, where the racket goes over my head here, my knees were bent, I pushed my hip out, that allows me to turn my shoulders past my hips. You see how my back is almost towards the net, and now I'm creating a nice stretch in this trunk area. So watch that again, I'm getting to this position, knees, hips, and then shoulders. And you want to do this with a lot of shadow swings, but remember it goes knees first, so you, you coil from the ground up, right? So I want to coil from the ground up, knees, hips, shoulders, and I uncoil again, and I'm thinking about driving my hip upwards, and then my shoulders and my elbow will then fire, fire in sequence. So you can use a medicine ball to do the same thing. And again, this is about a four pound medicine ball, it's not too heavy. And I want to bend my knees, my hip goes out slightly, and then I turn my shoulders past my hips. So when the hip goes out, it just allows me to get this turn right here. Now from this position, you want to focus on driving the hip upwards. Don't focus on the arm, focus on the hip, and think of the ball going straight up as you drive your hip up in this direction, just like that. All right? And when I do that, just make sure I finish my left arm with my elbow into my stomach. That will prevent me from facing forward too early. Let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison. You will see on the example on the right how my hips push out past the baseline and as a result I'm able to create more shoulder turn where my back is pointed further towards the net. You can see how much further I turn my shoulders past my hips. This creates stretch in the muscles across the trunk area. We now offer one day OTI serve clinics where an OTI certified instructor helps you transform your serve several times per year in Florida, California as well as other locations. For more information on upcoming serve clinics click the link inside this video right now.